preparando per il primo evento per me di Uda Beauty <ride> in anni non mi è mai successo di essere invitata all'evento di Uda Beauty quindi andiamo a una specie di workshop quindi impareremo delle cose super in ritardo quindi vado a prepararmi ci vediamo dopo <ride> Ok, come potete vedere sono pronta, as you can see, I'm ready. I just don't have concealer under my eyes because they told us not to wear it. Ci hanno detto di non metterci il concealer sotto gli occhi, quindi vado preparatissima. Eh? Questo è il solito traffico di Los Angeles. This is the usual traffic in LA. But I arrived! Sono arrivata in tempo. I arrived on time. These were all the bags for us, for the masterclass. Queste sono tutte le borse con i prodotti per noi. And this is the beautiful setup for the masterclass. Non potevamo portare nessuno con noi. We couldn't bring a plus one with us. Però ho incontrato un'amica che conoscevo. But I met a friend that I already knew. And I met a new friend. E ho conosciuto una persona nuova. <laughs> We are in this beautiful hotel. Look at the back this um, workshop and it's so amazing there's also a view of LA from here siamo in questo hotel bellissimo si chiama il Mandarin Hotel e questa qui è la piscina dietro what? è bellissimo questo posto comunque sono molto felice our global tour we've already been to uh, of course our global headquarters in Dubai uh, Paris, London, Madrid we were in Miami a few weeks ago Tampa and we have about four more cities to go but we are really excited because this is actually our hometown we're doing Pink Chris's Peach is to celebrate some newness at the brand it's lightweight it's super super soft a lot of times with correctors they can be thick they can be heavy even just a few years ago the only options we really had were like very creamy almost almost like a lipstick texture and that would mess with your foundation your concealer and just I was not a big fan of corrector for that reason but these are so lightweight it melt, melts right into the skin so taking my concealer brush I'm just going to start pressing that in and bringing that slowly to the center and then bringing that up that's what's showing a little bit of the darkness under the eye so she doesn't need that much we are just gonna press that in tap And I'm really just going to concentrate it in the inner corner because that's really where we get like that little shadow. And then once we are done with that portion, I'm not going to take it all the way out because again, we're just using this to correct. We are not using it to like brighten or highlight um, quite yet. We're going to get to that in a second, but ideally that is all she needs. And just a quick little question, who uses correctors here? Yes, okay, Yay. that's, that's a lot more than what we've seen in the past. Just stippling that into the skin, and I'm just gonna blend until it looks seamless and perfected. But I really like how easy these are to apply. They melt right in, and it's a lum luminous matte finish, so you're definitely getting that matte effect, but you still get a little glow and luminosity. I have super snatched, so I'm working off the back of my hand just because with the warmth, um, and I'm going to be using an airbrush concealer brush. And so because we want to still see that lifted look, again, I'm going to start by just pressing in in a corner, and then I'm going to slowly bring it a little bit below that orbital bone and all the way upward. So we kind of want to make sure from like the tip of her brow, we're kind of going past that. So that way you see that lifted effect. I'm going to add a little bit more. Can I have a look at this one? Yes. There. Makeup look flat. It doesn't take any of that dimension down. It just smooths everything. So a pretty good amount of product on there to start. And then I'm just going to go right in. I don't want to get any on him. So I might use my hands as like a little shield but we're just going right in the areas that I applied concealer. I'm gonna go right down the bridge of his nose as well, lifting a little on that outer corner in the smile lines. I think that's an area we always kind of forget and throughout the day, it's one of the areas that we're gonna crease the most. So 
Banking always looks a little crazy at the beginning. It's a trust the process type of application, but you really want to lay that product down and then let it sit for a second. I'm going to pick up a teeny bit more on my puff, turn towards me, and then we're going to mimic the same on the other side. So I'm just pressing that in, and you don't have to be too perfect in terms of the blending process. We just want to get that product on and let it start baking on the skin. And this will give 10 hours of wear to your makeup. It is truly one of my absolute favorite products. For the brightening effect it gives. I then could probably wear a few different shades in the collection, but I love how beautifully bright and lifted this makes this skin. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a fluffy brush to blend away and make sure it looks super soft. Turn towards me, love. Beautiful. You can instantly see that lift it gives on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit more product, but I'm gonna kind of pre-blend it into my hand because I don't want this to sit on the skin. I really just want to take this right along his beard line here and set that area as well. Turn towards me. And then I'm just pressing that in. I already kind of pre-blended it, so we're not going to get any fallout. And then kind of manipulating the puff in whatever shape you need it to. Take a little on that forehead. And we are set. You want to talk about this more of like an ombre effect. And then just kind of bringing it upward towards the ear. And then ideally, you can kind of just even almost sculpt a little bit around her brow area. Stunning. A little bit on her nose. <laughs> like a little bit on her nose. All right. But you guys see the difference? Like on Ivan, it just looks very seamless. The kind colors pop. Top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then over here, you just kind of see a little bit of both, both tones kind of shining through. So you're kind of like, wait, what did you, what did you do there? Love it. And I would be remiss if I didn't talk about some more newness that we just, well, we haven't even actually launched it. We have been teasing it all over social and some of you might've already seen or received yet, but these are our brand new Creamy Obsessions Nine Well palettes. We come out with different Nine Wells every year. There's always a little bit of a different iteration and take and they're pretty much Huda's inspiration at the moment, what colors she's loving. And so you have a grayish palette that Naja is wearing. We did them really soft today because complexion is the, the star in the moment. Adesso, dopo che abbiamo imparato tutto, now after we learn everything, it's our turn to do our makeup following their instruction. E adesso mettiamo in pratica quello che abbiamo imparato praticamente. From what I understood from the masterclass, I am team pink, so I'm going to be using the pink concealer. Per quello che ho capito dalla, dal workshop, io sono team pink, quindi uso il correttore pink. <laughs> this is the best light. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around too. <laughs> no problem. I like this. This is nice. Che bello. Vedi, io sono team pink. Sicuramente team pink. We need some B rolls. Okay. I love your case. Your case. Oh, thank you. And then your bag, there will be puffs inside. La differenza si vede, dai. I like the difference, if you see that. Okay, so you did. Let me grab that. I'll add a little bit here too. Now we're going to put the concealer, as they taught us. But my way, because, you know, I don't like to put a lot of concealer. Sorry if I don't look at the camera, but I'm using the phone as the mirror. I'm using the phone as the mirror. It's like so beautiful. She thinks she's wearing it. Now 
Put some more for the blending. Get a blend. Su uso questo lato. Vedete io non ne metto tanto di consiglio perché più le metto è peggio è, <ride> perché non ho più l'età di metterne tanto. <ride> Se ne mettete poco così va benissimo. Ho messo l'auricolare così magari mi sentite meglio. Here they added some music in the background, so it's a little bit difficult for you to hear me, but I hope you will understand anyway. I also wear glasses, so I needed some concealer on my nose, and oh my god, this concealer covers everything. Now it's time for the Easy Bake Powder, and this is what really makes the magic in my opinion. And it comes with this little sponge. Adesso uso questa Easy Bake Powder, io ne metto pochina, you know, però va benissimo così e mi piace. C'è proprio questo, è l'ingrediente magico della ricetta, <ride> perché proprio vedete la differenza. I'm going to add a little bit of blush as well, aggiungo anche un pochino di blush, anche se ce l'avevo già, perché l'avevo messo prima di uscire, però questo qui mi piace anche di più. I really like this one a lot and I think I'm gonna be using it. I've been using days. her blushes before, but not this shade, so I like to discover that. Ho aggiunto that. un pochino di blush. Oddio, guardate cosa vedo dalla finestra! La spugnetta di Uda Beauty! Vorrei mangiare tutte queste cosine qui, ma non penso siano vegane. I don't think they are vegan. È uscito anche il sole, che non so se è meglio o peggio. Mi sa che è meglio un pochino all'ombra. I think it's better a little bit in the shade. But I really like this product. Look how nice it looks under my eyes. It makes me look younger. Ed è più giovane questo concealer. Eh? Lo userò tutti i giorni d'ora in poi. I think I'm done, but I want to add a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. Adesso aggiungo un pochino di matita per le labbra e poi penso di aver finito. Ma guardate che carino questo make-up. I added a little bit of um, lip liner and I think the look is complete. I really like my under eye. And it's not easy for me to like it because, you know, I'm getting older. <laughs> so you get the skin over there can really use any product. But with the right amount, it works. And I really love it.